the Joe Rogan experience. I don't know yeah. anything, but I've been watching. I oh, dude, on the plane I was watching the fucking. I've been watching the Ken Burns Vietnam. Ooh, oh, heavy yeah. stuff. God damn, dude! I cried on the plane like a fucking Oof. idiot. Oh, oh, is that why you watching cried? Watching a PBS doc. <laughs> oh, you're out of meatballs. <laughs> Mark, if you're going to say nasty stuff, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that was a nice ride, though. I can remember I when ride. the Vietnam War ended. Really? Was, really? Yeah, I was a little kid. I was living in San Francisco, and I remember thinking, thank God we're never going to do war again. Like, oh, thank God on. it's over while I'm a child. Wow. I remember thinking that. Yeah. Like, whew, boy, they're glad they figured this out. That was long. It was so, Nine years? Dude, from day one, they were like, we're not going to win. Yeah. From day one. They just had to be McNamara's there. McNamara's in there with LBJ. Like this isn't going. This is never going to work. Yeah. And they just kept doing it. A lot of heroin out there. Oh my God. I mean, why they so stay? Hold on. I, I was, had to be a part of what was going on. I was drinking on the plane, and I like Story while tracks. watching this, I like drunk texted my uncle who got wounded in oh, Vietnam. I was like, "Where'd you get hurt?" It's <laughs> <laughs> like a crazy text to send. Oh my God. And then he explained how he got hurt, and it was really? like. Whoa! I went to the How did he get tunnels hurt? and all. He was a uh, he was a, he a was kid. a forward observer for his group. Wow. It was the Battle of Fuck. I'll find it. But uh, it was two hundred U.S. soldiers surrounded by about three thousand Viet Cong oh my or God. RVN, and then uh, he was the forward observer that was calling in coordinates. So they were all trying to get him. He w- they got him. <laughs> they hit him with an RPG eventually. But he was he was the one up front RPG. calling in the gunships, Role calling the game? artillery. <laughs> where to go? And rocket what? propelled where to go, go oh, there, oh yeah, thank see you. It all. Yeah. Wow, like a spotter and crew. Yeah, there, and he, uh, there he is. That's done right. I'm just asking. Uh, uh, Gillis. Drang Valley incident, 1965. Uh, Google Gillis right Vietnam. No, his wow. last name's not Gillis. Ah. Uh, What's crazy is the Vietnamese don't even hate Americans. No, they hate the Chinese no. way more. That oh, shit's yeah. all past them. Who doesn't? They called the the American <laughs> War. And not the uh It was uh the Battle of Hill one oh two, aka the Battle of Quezon Valley. Sixty five Americans Valley. killed, two hundred Americans surrounded by two thousand. But then I was I'm a little buzzed. I'm asking him fucked up questions. I was like, what's it like? <laughs> what's it like? The broadest question. He said, he said, what happens is you enter a zone where you just shut down your emotions and focus on what you need to do to survive and protect your men. No time to process feelings. There's enormous chaos, but you are acutely aware of everything. At least that was my experience. Wow. Uh, he said, this is a wild response. Yeah, That's I a great you were response. He said, at one point, there were waves of MVA running towards us, but my sole focus was to stop them from getting too close with a gunship known as Spooky. I mowed them down as they advanced. <laughs> oh Without the relentless God. stream of fire from Spooky, we would have been overrun. Thank God for Spooky. Gunship. God damn. Wow. Gunship sank fire to this area and so they I, fucking light it up. I was talking, he said, I was the forward observer, so my job was to keep artillery jet strikes and gunship fire raining down on the enemy. Does he want you reading this on air? He'll be all right. All That's right. why they were trying to get through me and take me out, which they eventually did, but I took a lot of them out first. <laughs> I was like, wow. Holy I was shit. Drinking, watching the documentary on my phone, like, Damn. Imagine I think smoking a joint with that guy on a porch. Woo. I'll tell you, he's my my other uncle was in Vietnam and was like uh It's the gunship. There spooky. It is. Spooky. spooky. Yeah. Wow. Spooky. My, down my other uncle was in Vietnam and he never talks about it. Yeah. That guy who oh, if you ask he's they down spooky. Look at that. Ouch. Nineteen sixty eight, February fifteenth. Nine hey, killed in downing call. of spooky gunship. To the spook. Oh. To the spooky. Spooky. Cheers, spooky. Mm. Wow. Aye, aye, aye. Well, at least he's yeah, still with like, us. What a fucked up war that was. I think Segura's dad was in Nam. Was it what really? a terrible yeah. fucking dumb war. <sighs> Silly, waste of time. Not only a dumb war, but a dumb war that was uh, that came about Robert because of a false flag. Tonkin. Yeah, Gulf of Tonkin. They, they lied Tonkin about truck. an incident yeah. to try to get us Tonkin into the war. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking crazy. That's like what we were talking about before with false flags. Oh, they they really they happened. Would. They did. They used to do them all the time. What'd you say? You well, we got the bomb here. Meat. It's like that's that's yeah. what they did. Yeah, they 100 would. But Lesser known fact: to Jim Morrison's father, oh. Captain George Stephen Morrison, com- commanded the carrier division Ooh. during the Gulf of Tonkin Ooh. incident. CIA. The Gulf of Tonkin incident incident famously gave the Johnson administration the justification they needed to escalate the Vietnam War. J.R.R. Tonkin. Wow, it's his dad. Imagine that, and your dad becomes break on through to the other side. <laughs> I know that's why he went so counterculture. Your son rather becomes that. Yeah, yeah and he's making the, the music way. they're playing in the fucking helicopters. Wow. Day wow. to day, oh, yeah. great music. Yeah. Great yeah, too. The '60s was the best music. <laughs> so, what did your what did your uncle do to like? What was it like when he came back? I think he came back and 
he had a very stressful job. What did he do? I, fuck it. I'll, it's pretty. Once I tell you what he did, it's specific. He's like, I mean, in your uncle. He was like yeah. fucking Forrest Gump, dude. He was in Three Mile Island. He was at the World Trade Center. He was in what? Vietnam. He's retarded. He's retarded. <laughs> what? He was everywhere. Oh, he's he's an incredible story. But connect the, uh, connect the dots. Shrimp then creole, he, uh, shrimp fish. I think shrimp I, rice. I was reading an article about it because he's pretty popular, and he was uh, he was describing how his job was very stressful because he worked in like Wall Street, and he thought he was like blaming all his stress on Wall Street, and then it was like clearly it was you got hit with a fucking RPG oh and almost God. died. Yikes! And you mowed people down yeah. in Vietnam. And then he yeah. went back to Vietnam and saw it and was like, oh, this is. All of them, all of my problems. Right. Wow. Yeah. So he went back. He went back. What? He went to exactly Whoa. where he was. No way. It. Yeah. Imagine getting out yeah. and going back. What a nightmare. I think he said he was. He felt bad because he got wounded pretty severely. Like his calf got blown off. He's missing a nipple. Oh, he's what? He got drilled. He's Miss Pat. He got. <laughs> he's Miss Pat. <laughs> uh, but he was like, I was too reckless, and now I'm not with my men, and he 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 held that against himself. Was he a drug addict and whatnot? I, I don't know about drugs. I know alcohol, man. for sure. Wow. I was too reckless. He was like, I was too reckless. I fucked that up. Now I'm not with my men. Because so he was he like holding injured. that against himself. And then he saw what happened and where he was. And he was like, oh, this. of course I got wo- wounded. Yeah. I was, they were coming at me. people shooting at me. Yeah. They knew I was the guy calling in the airstrikes. Blew his calf off. Yeah, his legs. He's literally missing his fucking calf. Oof. <laughs> Nipples off. Yeah. Calf and half. Jesus. <laughs> calf and half. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He can't help himself. Halfway house. He's a pun machine. All right. Halfway house. Halfway house. <laughs> Super Bowl calf time. Yeah, we're talking. The calf time uh, show. We saw it. Yeah. We were there on shrooms. Rihanna. Ironically, that's that the name of the guy awesome. who shot him. Rihanna. <laughs> I need you'd like it. I like it. I need you'd like, I like it. it. I can do I can do a little bit of you. I take it on. Yeah, I can try. Go nuts. Apparently, Mine's Vietnam is like one of the either. most amazing places to visit. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah? Yeah. Where? Where's, where'd you go? I went to, started in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh, that's what they call it. And then I went to the south, to like some tiny town. Mm. Get away from like backpackers. I was getting sick of everybody. You get sick of all the fucking tourists. Whites. Yeah. District really? One, District 1 of Ho Chi Minh is like, it's like TGI Friday. It's whatever. What? Yeah, they have the the War Remnants Museum. It's the Vietnam War Memorial Museum, and they have a GI outside. He was like, "It's all propaganda in there." Whoa! Because it just talks about the senators who Thank later you. came out and said said like, "Oh yeah, I killed like fifty innocent people once." Get a bucket of ice. Yeah, what was that? There was one senator that he was. There was you know they were applauding him as a war hero, hey, and then finally he just like said, "I have to come clean." Yeah, like, I got I, some I, shit. Oh, I don't I remember that. Yeah, he's like, I raped yeah. a bunch of people, killed a bunch of innocent Whoa. people. We just went down and mowed out. And he was like running on the fact that he's a hero, and then he's like, oh, oh, "Oh boy." Yeah, when Jamie comes back, we'll. Uh, Figure out who that, that Ken Burns, was. that Ken Burns Vietnam though is fucking wild. Mm-hmm. It's very dense. I tried to watch it the first time. I've watched like it was. It is dense. Yeah. Then once you get into it, it's like god damn. Was it twelve hours? Something so like that? fucking long. Just long. Great for flights. Yeah. Uh, and the pandemic. Yeah. The bombi oh, yeah, sandwich there there. is amazing. Yeah. It's how's the fresh the f- bread. They got that from the French. What's it's, it called? Bombi. me. Bomb me. Yeah. Mark Norman's infecting it. Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> Bro. Tap what was Vietnam like? God, what I remember is that it was just every day was a war. Oh. Yeah, it was a war. What yeah. about the pho over there? Pretty good pho? Pho's not bad. I was really into the bomb All right. You just get them to go. They're so good, so fresh. Mm. It's a fresh bread. They, they love it. French bread. Yeah. So we eat po' boys on. The French is without the bread, it's not a po' boy. Yeah. So I loved one of those things of like somebody at some college campus was like bitching at their student uh, union for doing the um, doing the banh mi sandwich, not the authentic way. Uh They put like some sort of Tabasco on it or something instead of like sriracha. Yeah. He's like, that's not authentic Vietnamese. (laughs) Everyone's like, it's French bread. It's from the the colonization. Did you guys ever do the stand up bong hit? You know, so paper towel roll. You're on the on the wall and you're both squatting. What? And he takes a giant vaporizer hit or whatever, and he blows it into your mouth while you stand up. No. And then you fall back down immediately. No. no. You never did that. No. Oh oh oh, oh, oh. beer bong. No no oh. weed, huge hit and then as you come up and it hits you so hard. And shotgun. Oh. As yeah. you're standing up. You're as you're standing up, so the uh, the oxygen goes away. Well, interesting. This is pre-internet, you know. Yeah. Just, 
four guys in a house. <laughs> just with, figuring shit out. Figuring it out, nothing to do. <laughs> what if I blow the smoke in your face? Yeah. And then you stand up. <laughs> exactly. But that was one of the things they did during Nam. They'd do it through rifles. Yeah. Whoa. That's pretty sweet. Cool. Open up that's rifle so chain. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. Yeah. That can't end well. Yeah. No, like a, yeah. Yikes. Shot. Imagine being high as fuck and also in Vietnam in yeah. the middle of the war going, what the fuck, man? Yeah, so they, they did a shotgun where they literally opened up the barrel. Damn. And they're blowing the weed through. I like how they're not touching it with their mouth because they don't want to get herpes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to be gay. They don't want to be, gay. be sucking like... on that gun in front of everybody. Whoa. Man, that's Tough a times. <clears throat> Gotta what a kill bummer. the day. But then what if you get attacked? Imagine being like uh, super paranoid and high as fuck, and you're in the jungle in Vietnam. Yeah, at night you realize you're walking you're in this through. Stupid fucking war that yeah, makes yeah. no sense. Has zero support behind it. The Ooh. nature walks are good. Like, what are we doing? I'm, I'm shooting people with zero support behind it. Yeah, you're out in nature. You would have. Yeah, that's it. what they said. One of the reasons they won. They t took over all the reasons the Vietnam won. They were like, the Americans were like, I don't even want to be here. Well, yeah, yeah, no one did. Yeah, like I, I don't care about these people. Well, and the Vietnamese anyone... were fighting for their home. What about, do you ever meet one of those guys who's like, you know, when 9-11 happened, they're like, I'm going over there. Yeah. Thank Pat God Tillman. for guys like that. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, thank you. I'm going to stay Pat here. Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman. He, he left being a fucking NFL star yeah. to go That's over there. Insane. And he got Beast. killed by friendly fire. Friendly oh, fire. Oh, you hate to and hear it. And they had to hide it. They had to hide oh, it. Oh, no, God. he was a hero. <clears throat> he was well, that annoying? that he wasn't a hero, obviously. He was just he was a, still a hero. A bummer of a place. guy, like a no, bad hang. I think it was no, an no, 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 no. Oh, oh, it was an accident. I thought they were like. Some this people said it was on purpose. Well, some people said it was on purpose. Like That's he, what I he heard. was starting to see, like, oh, this is fucking pointless. What are we doing here, even? And then, like, oh, we got to shut him up. We're keeping the hero. <sighs> oh no. Is a theory. I don't Boy, know. I hope not. Yeah. God, you hope not. Yeesh. Anyway, let's talk about something funnier. <laughs> and then friendly fire. <laughs> that told me in Vietnam. I know, right? What the <laughs> fuck? Nice yeah, turn well, for what happened. You <laughs> changed the mood of everything when you read out your uncle's text. I know, That's yeah. pretty sick, though. Yeah, I mean, imagine Bummertown. being on a plane reading that. The way he described it to was amazing, too. Yeah. Your uncle's smart. Yeah, he's fired up.